Uh, so indoor activities would be a good idea when it's this cold. And this morning we have the honor of showing off some serious upgrades at one of our favorite spots in Midtown, the Michigan Science Center. Yeah, joining us to talk about this this morning uh, is that Paulette Epstein, who's <laughs> inside the newly renovated planetarium. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So you've been hard at work in there doing some upgrades. Tell us what's new. Yes, so we have gone through and actually upgraded our entire system here in the planetarium. We have renovated uh, and given us a new dome, new carpet, new seats, all sorts of things. Um, we have an 8K projection system with state-of-the-art software that allows us to show all sorts of really amazing things here now at the Michigan Science Center. Um, so we're really, really excited uh, to have our planetarium. And with our 8K projection system, it's almost almost 49 million pixels up on the dome. Uh, it looks amazing. I love how you're giving us uh, a view of that. Um, can you walk us through the entire process of when you decided, hey, we need to upgrade this and, and, and just kind of the vision of how you knew it was going to pay off? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the first, uh, the planetarium was actually installed in 2001, um, and we had the same technology uh, up until uh, just about 2020, um, when the technology did not wake back up, unfortunately, after the pandemic. Um, so we uh, went through and did some fundraising around our planetarium, uh, and we were able to come up with uh, sort of these amazing things that we'll be able to show folks when they come on site. Uh, the process itself took us just about 11 months from uh, when we started our process to when we installed and we've been closed since about uh, the beginning of August so we're really excited to be able to welcome our visitors back into the planetarium. Wow. Always one of my favorite field trips. The planetarium. <laughs> I know Always. and just looking at that giant new dome and the new kind of reclined seating I, I know Solantis uh, Foundation was really pivotal in helping and there's also a great kind of hyperspace odyssey that we can catch there. Tell us about that. Yeah, so our brand new show, Hyperspace's Stellar Odyssey, was funded by Stellantis, so we're really excited to do this show. Uh, this show is where we take a field trip to the moon, and we might get a little bit lost along the way. Yeah. Um, and so we get to see all sorts of amazing things out in space, including the Orion Nebula, the Crab Nebula, the supermassive black hole in the center of the wow. Milky Way. And there's some surprises at the very end. Oh it's my so gosh, cool. that I sounds amazing. <laughs> What's the website? How can people find you and buy tickets and all of that? Yes, absolutely. So all of that information will be on our website at mi-sci.org. Wonderful. -S -S and uh, open right now. Is there anything special for some of the first folks that get to come check it out? Well, you'll get, uh, you'll actually be able to see uh, a snow globe that we have created uh, with a 360 camera downtown in areas like Campus Martius and uh, oh. the Hudson site. So as you seat into the theater, we'll also have some amazing snow globe imagery. Uh, so you can just sort of relax while you're waiting for the show to start. Well, we can't wait to come see it. And I'm sure the kids can't either in every single classroom. Absolutely. Paulette, thanks so much for the time this morning. Thank you and congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.